What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round off what happened last time, I really botched an attack on Tunis, managing to win by the skin of my teeth and knock out the Barbary States. But the main result of that is I am at war with the Ottoman Empire. Um, so these forces in North Africa will head east. Actually, well, maybe just one of them will head east, take Cairo to kind of create a bottleneck. And then they'll, then from Cairo I'll start recruiting stacks to push into the Middle East. Um, the other stack I could either push into... The, no, I'm not going to push into Rome. This stack I'm actually going to land and try and lay siege to Athens. See if I can secure a foothold um, on the continent in this area to push north to threaten um, the Prussian Empire. Ready for yeah, I'm just being very careful right now because they're doing lots and lots of attacks. Like, ultimately, this army could be destroyed. If they all attacked at once, they could be destroyed, but I would make them pay such a heavy price. Make ready. All the while, fresh troops are being raised in the United Kingdom. So let's recruit another general's bodyguard for next turn. And then let's preemptively recruit. Oh, have I hit my limit of... I have hit my limit. And let's get some... Ooh, what are you? Garrison guards. No, garrison guards. Don't want garrison guards. Last unit of sharpshooters. Get unit of line. Cool. <laughs> Tatooine. Oh yeah, that's, I'm knocking that down to make them chill out, to like me a bit more. Cool. Let's hit end turn. Oh god. No. For your order. Completely forgot about that reinforcing army. Still waiting on the Marathas to make their move. Um, but the AI probably knows what I intend to do. Because um, I want them to move so I can force them to, act to, to attack Gibraltar. Or I can repel them with very few casualties. Casualties on my side, that is. I'm more than happy to let the Prussians just stay in Sardinia. I might actually have to um, blockade their port to make sure they don't go anywhere with their army, because that would suck if they managed to do that. Um, yeah, plan seems to be working. key thing is to see what Prussia does. Are they pulling their troops back? Hmm. Hmm, yeah, raid Calais as much as you like. Have the Russians declared war on them or something that I don't know about? Marathas have brought their stack back. I need to check what the Russians are up to. Maybe they might have declared war. Maybe. Yep, here comes the Spanish. Oh, okay, aren't they? They're, the rest of the Spanish troops are retreating back to the, the motherland. <gasps> Might Spain be forming the new Holy Roman Empire <laughs> if they take if they take Venice? If they take Venice, that will be. <laughs> Rebellions grow in strength over time. The more they're left unchecked. Rebellion. Always act quickly in these instances, otherwise the uprising may capture a region. I don't really hate me that much. But you are way too knackered to actually put down rebellion. Question is how long will it take? So I could scoot that army over there quite quickly. Oh god alive. Oh. It's got these Spanish armies. Spain, Spain, you know. Oh God! Sir. 
fall back. <laughs> Surrounded by troops that hate them. English Channel, New Andalusia. Cool, still replenishing. So if I move you out of Tripoli, you'll hate me for two turns, unless I make you tax free. So let's do that. Instead of marching all the way to Cairo, get to the port and I'll recruit a sloop next turn to take you all the way along the coast to Egypt and drop you off. It's not down the tulip garden. See, if I tax you, you're okay. African infantry guards. Look at some nice infantry line infantry and two units of guards. Could be about to lose Algeria, Al um, Algeria, but if I do, I'll just swing that army back around to capture it, and then I'll get garrison in Algeria. A never-ending battle with the French to try convert their territories. Radio. So this army, move them up. Ready ready you are replenishing still. Sir. As are you. If I move you out of Paris, will you be angry? No, you will be okay. And instead, let's get into recruiting. No, let's get some Lancer guards. Let's get some Grenadiers on the go. Good. Start recruiting more stacks to start fighting off these. Ooh, Westphalia. Is this just a sloop? It is a sloop. Sail over and have a look at Königsberg. Oh god. Stack. 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 Holy moly. Let's get you back out of there. I definitely need to open up another front. Definitely. Tech advances, fine. Traits. Ministers, I haven't looked at you in yonks. You're not brilliant, but <laughs> I'm doing so well in a minute. Apologies for that, guys. I accidentally clicked off the screen again because I've got two monitors on the go. If I get a bit overzealous and go over to the left. Uh, it exits the window and the game stops recording. But do I want to do I want to set up a fight with the Prussians? Not yet, I don't think. I want my armies to replenish and to recruit more troops. So thinking about in turn. Well, I think it's gonna be the last one of the session because it's getting quite late. I might need to go to go get a shower and go to bed. <laughs> To be honest, they're doing quite well. I'm surprised they're not dead. <laughs> Normally the eye pounces on them straight away. Ah. Trying to slip a raiding force around, are you? So they don't want to engage me, not in main fights. Not in proper 
stack v stack fights. They want to try be a bit more underhand. Oh god. I did not realise I had so little artillery. Fall back. I need more artillery. If I had more artillery I would have fought it. Because I'd have been fighting a defensive battle. Could have set up some big guns with a uh, shrapnel shot and absolutely shot them to pieces. Peace. You want peace? No. <laughs> I don't want you to regain your strength. Oh god, they did capture Venice. I need to see what they're doing then. Yeah, see, there's Algiers. But just pirates. So scoot back over here. So if I run these guys out, he'll be very unhappy unless I... Unless I take away your need to pay taxes. Right, go. To go let them make them go lay siege nation destroyed venice region lost successful missions new election okay diplomacy spain is that war with me and denmark damn i was hoping they'd Ooh, they really are forming their own little And it's imperative that Paris starts generating troops. Sir. Okay, let's quickly run out and auto battle that. Forward! For crown and country. Sir. I can run out and auto battle you. Victory is ours. Sir. Because then this stack can Sir. take the gap. buildings, industrial buildings, church schools. I doubt I'm going to have much luck trying to turn them Protestant, but you can try. Um, right, you, you, out you come. Get ready to fight. So you. Oh, they can't recruit anything because Paris is full. And it's going to take an absolute age for those guns to get over there. Some solid units of marines. How many more can I recruit? Ah, screw it. Let's recruit two more. Two more. Two units of light infantry. And three units of regular line. Cool, then that will be that army. Then let's get another general's bodyguard on the go. Okay, if we can go down and lay siege to even well, I don't know, if we can, even if I could just dump a load of troops off Gdansk. You know, do something. Unless I ferry all these troops to land in the Italian theatre and knock them out. And then create one giant front. I could do that actually. If I land and took Naples. God, that's going to be a toughie. Tough nut to crack with carabiners. But a slightly easier job if I can do this. That's dangerously close to Jerusalem, isn't it? Let's fight this battle and take 
Cairo. Ops in the Middle East. Armies to push eastwards, armies to push into Greece, armies to push, just really stretch out that front against the Prussians, force them to scatter their troops, because right now they are concentrated on the Western Front. Which obviously isn't good for me. Just control this enough to get himself for something or other. Um, create the Grand Battery, because I'm attacking on a broad front, or well, because I'm because I'm attacking. Howitzers are more flexible. Keep the core of my line, keep these guys and my scouts to the right. Keep my cavalry and my general out flanking on the right. gonna suffer. Nope, not if they're... There you go, general down. Focusing my artillery. You go there, you hit those unit, you hit that unit, I suppose. You hit Arm Populous, you hit this area. Sprint my cavalry out of the way. Charge into the. Eh. Utterly missed that shot. These lancers, lancer cav. Nope. Too late, call my bluff. So there's a sort of block of Turkish cavalry there. And they're mowing down my light dragoons. So if I manage to get to do this point blank. No, we didn't run that way. This could all fail now. They should, if they turn and fire, have a fire a devastating volley into the side of the Turkish cavalry. There we go. I'm 
my cavalry is significantly weaker. Get my get my artillery to just fire on them, then I suppose. Janissaries. Mm, get some good shots off of them, then while you can. Use my artillery to keep pounding away at these Israelis. Oh, holy hell! Is this platoon firing? shot because shrapnel shot clearly isn't yeah one death got they've actually got units coming in to provide fire against them oh there you go they're wheeling right players do the Ottoman campaign at some point because I do like the history of the Ottoman Empire excellent so required I'd like see if possible I'd like to make peace to push their troops out of my territory Now where's the university? All the way down here, I shouldn't wonder. Okay, let's make you a... Upgrade the happiness building, let's get a church school in, start making you um, Protestant. Let's upgrade some of your industry. Let's build a road. Let's get ready for a rebellion, um, but I can deal with that. Is that your school? Craft workshops, yeah. Ah, there it is. Destroy it. There we go. So they'll be very, very, very happy from now on. Cool. Um, but yeah, looking at the time, both of this part and just the clock in general, <laughs> I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.